most interesting quote of the offseason is from Jets head coach Robert Sala. He said it yesterday. Y'all read it with me. He said, in my opinion, 32 coaches stand in front of their teams every year. They talk about winning a championship. And then, realistically, there's maybe six or eight teams that actually have a chance to do it. And I do think that we, the Jets, are one of those teams. So I was thinking, like, is he accurate? I thought to myself, let me think about my six to eight teams that actually have a chance at winning a Super Bowl. Let me throw out the NFC teams first. I think there are truly only three teams that have a chance of winning a Super Bowl. This is not a crazy thought. It's simple. Eagles, Cowboys, Niners. I do believe that the Giants are a year or so away. I do believe that the Vikings defense needs to be tightened up. The Seattle Seahawks, will Geno Smith be good again without thinking about all those other teams, Cowboys, Eagles, Niners. And the AFC is where it gets interesting. This is when I think about the Bengals, the Chiefs, the Bills, the Ravens, and the Jets. I do believe that the Jets are amongst those six to eight teams that have a legitimate chance at winning a Super Bowl. Just because you make the playoffs doesn't mean you can actually win a Super Bowl. We know that. The Vikings made the playoffs last year and got smacked around by the Giants in round one. So a record does not indicate winning a Super Bowl. Talent, coaching, confidence, it does. Let's head to the desk for the question of the day. Shady, there's been a lot of hoopla around the Jets all off season. A lot of hoopla around Aaron Rodgers. Do you think the Jets are amongst Super Bowl elite? I think so. I think they are. I think they're a contender for sure. I think once you add a guy like Aaron Rodgers with his his talent and also his leadership and and more not leadership as as far as like you know X's and O's, but his play style. Like Aaron Rodgers coming to your team, like, oh wow, we get a four time MVP. We're ready to play. I, I think about the Jets where last year in the AFC East. They actually beat the Bills with no quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. They actually beat the Dolphins with no quarterback. So I'm thinking, like, man, if you can compete for this, this division without a quarterback and you add an MVP caliber quarterback with all the talent, I think football's year to year. They did a solid year uh, last year. This year, they're even better. They had both rookies players of the years with um, um, offense and defense yep. player of the year as rookies. Mm -hmm. They'll be much better. Sauce Gardner made all pro as a freaking rookie, right? And then, and then uh, Garrett, Garrett Wilson, come on now. So I just feel like they'll be a better team. And then you look at the defense. They were a top five defense last year. They're only going to get better. So if you're talking about contending, if you contended with the team you had last year with no quarterback, with no offense, with no production, and you add A-Rod with experience and production, I think they'll be a contender. But 2-5, there is still a big gap between their 7-10 and 10 finish last year, I believe it was 7-10, and 10, and winning a Super Bowl okay. and contending for a Super Bowl. Can Aaron Rodgers, Alan Lazard, uh, Miko Hardman, I believe they acquired yes, him speed. as well, can they make up that gap? I think so, man. I, I think when we talk about these teams, what team has got better? And we look around the division. The only team I can say that got better in that division... Dolphins, Jets. Dolphins mm. and Jets. Yeah. That's it. So going forward, it's only about, what, six teams that we can say, okay, okay they'll, they'll win a championship. It's only about six of them. And you tell me now that the, 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 the Jets get this type of quarterback with that type of players, that they can't be one in the six, the six or eight? I mean, it's hard for me to believe, man. Joy, where do you stand? Are the Jets actually among the Super Bowl elite? I'm very happy that we're here. I'm very happy that Robert Sala is setting the standard for what <laughs> I can judge the Jets by this year. It's, it's finally official. So when they go to the playoffs and lose a game, we can call it a massive failure, correct? Not massive, but I think... It's it a massive failure. Sure. If you're a Super Bowl contender and you lose in the first round of the playoffs, it's a massive failure. For sure. If you haven't been there in how many years? Here we go. But that <laughs> Here we go. Are they Super Bowl contenders or are they not? They are. Are they Super Bowl contenders or are they not? But I would, go, I would call it a massive... But, 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 we, as soon as we say it, as soon as I say it, so the wait, excuse wait, if, machine if starts lose, oiling up. If they lose in the second round, is that massive failure, I too? Think, I think winning a playoff game is acceptable. Okay. okay. I can agree with that. I, I, today, I agree with you on that. Okay. So are they among the elite? No, I don't think they are. Hmm? The, uh, what did you say? Coaching, confidence, Players, talent. Yeah. Right. Okay. Robert Sala has won 11 games in his coaching career. Mm -hmm. Not great. Um... Talent, we know that there was some talent on the team last year. We don't know what Aaron Rodgers is. We know Aaron Rodgers did not have a good year last year. We know he missed the playoffs last year with the team he had been with yeah. for mm -hmm. 17 years. Mm -hmm. um, not devoid of talent either. Not devoid of a good defense. Excellent run game. Couldn't beat the Lions to get into the playoffs. That was Aaron Rodgers that we experienced last year. He's now in a new place. Is he going to be the same Aaron Rodgers he was last year? If he is, is that good enough to beat 
The Bills, who while we don't know if they've gotten better, were 13 and three last year. So they, have they, they didn't get better. They didn't get better. No. Did they get significantly worse? We don't know. We'll find out. But they were 13 and three last year. Right. 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 So to go from seven wins to 13, 14 wins, I'm still trying to bridge that gap personally. I think that the Jets are better. I think that the Dolphins are better. I think the AFC is the harder conference. We are not accounting for as well the Chiefs. We are not accounting for the Chargers. We are not accounting for what the Broncos might be. We are not accounting for the Bengals, for the Ravens. What if Kenny Pickett's better? It's a good question. Bill Belichick's going to steal some games in that division, I even if that. they're not good. Yeah. Well, they're not going to lose all the games in the division. A lot of them. They never do. He'll, he'll lose a lot of them, mm. but he's going to mess something up for somebody's season as well. I just, I don't have a problem saying they're going to be significantly better. They will be significantly better. How could they not be significantly better if one of us was playing quarterback for the Jets? Yeah. They might be significantly better. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that lightly. Actually, not me. I, I would not do a good job. I, I would not do a good job. Let me not be that way. They're going to be better. But to jump from, to, from that to Super Bowl contender, we're doing the same thing we did with the Broncos, and it just feels a little premature because this is a team that as culturally and over the past few years has not actually been a good team. It's not like he's going to a team like the Rams that goes out and, and, and is aggressive and has a coach that has a proven track record. It's not like he's going to the Bucks. Real quick, so you said that the talent, you said the coaching, and what was the last one? Culture probably. Confidence. So Confidence, it, yep. But would you say that the Jets from that team, that talent, do you think they're one of the top in the AMC? Talent-wise? I don't. What did that talent do last year? No, I'm saying I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. Then and then also. I don't. I think on paper it always looks delicious. Like before I mean, the season they, starts, they actually, uh, there's a, you can make an argument for a lot of teams. Okay. But I would see what I would suggest. I don't disagree. I agree. You can make an argument for a lot of teams. But as it pertains to making arguments for teams to win the Super Bowl, I think that the only teams you can truly make that for, right. even on paper, Eagles. Cowboys, Niners, NFC first. Uh, why, why do you keep putting the Cowboys in there? Because keep, on, you keep, said on paper. I keep hearing you saying you said you, you said on paper. So this is your list, because that's not my list. Correct. But I'm saying, if you were to say on paper, on paper isn't talking about Jerry Jones. On paper is talking about Ross. Talent, Ross. Yes. Okay. So if okay. we're only talking about on paper, the Cowboys would have to be in that conversation. Right, but see, I'm not doing the on paper. Okay, understood. So then if you're going in reality. Like to me, it's Chiefs, Bills, Niners, Eagles, Bengals. See, see, that's my, I was about to get to that point, because... The Bills, we love to keep putting them in this category of being a Super Bowl contender, and I'm biased too, but, like, why, though? I'd be comfortable taking the Bills out, honestly. Okay. I would be. So, so if, you, hold on, if, you, if you break it down, it's only, like, three teams, though, right? You're going to say the, the ben Chiefs? Chiefs, Chiefs, Bengals, okay, Chiefs, Bengals, Bengals, Niners. Niners, Eagles. Yeah, Chiefs, Bengals. I mean, I, th that's as safe as it can get. If we just talk about just... I'd like to be who, safe. Who can actually get to the Super Bowl? And just, you just guarantee sure. it? Sure. But see, here, here's my only issue with that. Okay. I actually believe there are closer to six to eight teams and four teams. Kind yeah. of like college football. College football, I think Colin said it um, when, when you and Colin were doing the show together. There's usually about 13 teams in college football that win a national championship right. in any given year. Now, sure, we could say Alabama, Georgia, Ohio right, State, right, right, and stop you. it right. at that. Yeah. But we know, like, USC could do it. Yeah, yeah. OU, back when Lincoln Riley was there, yeah. could do it. Um, like, Penn State could be in a conversation. Michigan, they could do it. So while Chiefs, Bengals, Eagles, Niners, Niners is safest, I do believe that there are other there contenders. Is, I, I agree with this. And there's I a lot this, that happens you know? throughout yeah, seasons that, that can change that. Someone yeah. could have a devastating injury, and then their season is done. And a but team even, that we absolutely even assuming they just lose, not even just lose. Even assuming yeah. health, it's like. We would have said going into last year, at this time last year, I don't know that we would have put the Eagles atop the NFC at this time last year. Because remember, at this Once time last the year, year sure, yeah. this time, there was not still, in August. There were still some questions. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bradbury wasn't there. Are you, are you right? We yeah. didn't know what Jalen Hurts Jaylen was. Right. AJ right. Brown had just been traded for us. So we didn't point. know he was going to go crazy. Great point. So that's why I'm like, Joy, don't you think the Jets are right there with the Ravens, are right there yeah. with the Dolphins, yeah. Yeah. are yeah. right there? Like, I think they're all kind of right there Well, you're because then you're just talking about talent, correct? Because you're not talking about culturally, institutionally, what they've done over the past five Correct. years, what they've done over the last Correct. ten years, Correct. what they have as far as proven coaching, what Correct. they have as far, as far as proven culture. None of that. Because yes. those other teams that you mentioned have that. The but, Ravens have that. The Dolphins but have the Dolphins, that. No, 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 no. Talk See, that's where I'm, I think you're wrong at. They, they got that, right? The, the, the Dolphins wasn't, Dolphins they didn't know yeah. no culture. 
what do you mean? The Dolphins have back to back, back, to back winning seasons with, with Flores. I mean, you, 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 not, you, you're talking on. about Super Bowl culture. Come on. You're talking you're talking, we're talking about Super Bowl culture, right? You can't tell me that the culture was the same uh, with uh, okay. Flores. Well, then the Super Bowl culture, then, is not. We're getting crazy with this list here. What about the Jets? What about the Jets? The whole of the Jets so would first, make you think that it's Super Bowl contention. I feel like when you bring a, a, a type of quarterback that they have, right, Aaron Rodgers, he's seen success. I don't know what's, what Aaron I'm Rodgers saying, so if you bring, But I'm just saying, if you bring a type of caliber quarterback like that to this team with all this talent, with a solid coach, he's a solid coach, how's mm -hmm. a solid coach, you think that they, they should have some type of culture there. The same way how we talk about the Bucs. We, we, we talk and, and give all this credit to Tom Brady, not because of his talent, but he brought that culture there. Same type of talent. But, but, oh, wait, hold up. Same type of talent. And they was not winning nothing. So when we talk about this argument, it's like, okay, you are talking about culture from the coaches, but a lot of it is the players is in the locker room. What culture is Aaron Rodgers bringing? An MVP. You see, he, you see how all them, y'all you, talking about this from the stuff he, his media and all that. I get that part. What about the other part of the other thing where, where now we all going to be accountable where we're going to show up and be on time because we want to impress Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Look at all the young stars that kept talking about it. From, from Reese Hall to, to um, 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 Garrett Wilson, like them all, they can't wait to play with A-Rod. That's not just because he's just... A straight leader? No, we want to play with Aaron Rodgers. No, they, 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 we they feel they can win now. Yeah. I mean, when you know that you have someone that you're going out there that you, you know feel that like feeling? you can win with, it's a different... Th all that's all I'm, all I'm saying. saying is I reserve the right to be skeptical of the Jets. A thousand no, 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 yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's good. A thousand that's respectable, percent. for sure. A thousand, I also think you have a lean list, which is also fair. If the list is Chiefs, Bengals, Niners, Eagles, then the Jets uh, yeah, don't belong going, on that I'm going list. chalk. Yes, the Jets, to me, don't belong on a list of But hold on, but even though the Bills came short, see, this is why I like, this is why I tell you about the Super Bowl is so hard to win. It's hard to get there. But if the Bills got to the Super Bowl or the Dolphins, like, I won't be, like, super surprised. Agreed. No. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? But, like, this, think, but, like, but to me, if the Jets made it to the Super Bowl, I would be, be super surprised. surprised. Do you know why? Why? Because they've been bad for so many years. Correct. And it was going to look funny. Wait. The green team. <laughs> yes. and, uh, it's going to look funny. But is it fair to say this? The Chiefs, Bengals, Niners, e Eagles have a chance that's up here. Then I would say the Ravens, Bills, Jets, Dolphins are in like the next caliber yes. of And I can buy that. Yeah, that, that's, that's where I'm at. So your but, list but, is but, elite. But, but there's other teams that, that should be in that as well. Who? Who? Y'all. I'm going to say like who? who? Like who? I'm not going to say who? Because he named the, the, I mean, the, the when was the last time the Jets won a playoff game? That's what we're talking about. When was the last time they were so, in a playoff game? Tell us and tell you have to tell you. No, 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 no. Because when the Bengals won the Super Bowl, we never pecked it. Y'all talking about the Dolphins being in that category, right? Yes, yes. Okay. You're talking about the Ravens being in that category. So we say who else? That's the question we asked you. Who else? What are we talking about teams that have had recent success? Teams that have talented teams. Teams that have solid quarterbacks. Shouldn't they also be in that category? Like Should who? we just letting everybody in? No, I, I don't well, know. Wait, who? You answer the question of who. You, have, you have, haven't answered the question. The Chargers? Jacksonville? Oh. See, you They've been better than the Jets the last few years. <laughs> Jackson, significantly. Jacksonville, Jacksonville, I was the Chargers? Almost, Jacksonville, I was almost okay with. I, like, I almost God, put Jacksonville. We are on. talking about the New York Jets. But here's the Be thing. Be serious. Here's my thing, though, Joy. Chargers. I think what Shady and I are doing is this. Because we are currently. Y'all letting everybody in the club is what you're doing. No, no, no. You're real lenient. No, uh, it's cool. You don't have on the right shoes. You can come in. <laughs> in it's May, a party for everybody in today. In, in May, all 18th. I'm doing is looking at paper. That's really where I'm okay. like because it's May. I don't really know how a team's gonna bond. Sure, of course. There's a lot so, that can happen. Correct. In May, I think the Jets have one of those eight be best rosters and the eight best quarterbacks. Okay. Honestly, when I look at my list, you would outside of the Niners, I would say every team on there has a top eight roster and a top eight quarterback. quarterback. I'm just yeah. doing the Niners honestly out of respect for the every. They, 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 they get there. And they get there. And they get there. And they get there. And they get there. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.